How many of you have a perfect spouse? You have a perfect spouse, perfect children. Yes, no. And they could be sitting on the next chair. And now we need to check whether they raise their hand and whether you raise their hand in their context. So, our definition of perfection is dependent on you should be perfect my way. Like for example, you create this stage, you create this hall, you've put in your everything for the event, right? That is your effort, your hard work, your sincerity, your time, your money, everything. So obviously when you were creating it, you were doing your perfect, right? Yes or no? Anybody created, no, this is wrong, let's do it. Anybody does this? No. Everybody creates perfect things, but their definition of perfect will be dependent on? Now I can walk in and find 50 mistakes in this. Yes or no? I'll say, phool ye wale kyo hain dousre hone chahiye, kapit ye wala kyo hain dousra hona chahiye, kursi ye kyo hain dousri hone chahiye, parda ye. How much time does it take to find mistakes? Am I right? I am right? Why am I finding the mistakes? Because your perfect is different from my perfect. And our perfect will always be different from other people's perfect. And if I keep looking for mistakes in situations, in people, and in everything that everybody has done, I am writing a destiny of pain in my life. But if I just look at the whole hall and say, look at the effort, look at the care, look at the sincerity, look at the energy that has gone into this, I just start enjoying everything. But if I say, no, it should have been my way, because we thought my way is the highway. That's what we thought. My way is the right way. Everyone is perfect according to their sanskar, not according to our sanskar. And we are there with each other to do hand-holding, to help them to change their uncomfortable sanskars. But for that I have to accept them the way they are. And that is only possible when I stop becoming emotionally dependent on their behavior. So the biggest weakness right now is emotional dependency. So let's change vocabulary. Whenever a situation comes, is my mind dependent on the situation or is my mind dependent on me? Let's say for simple example, we'll go out of this program now at 9.30. Suddenly those roads which were empty at 7 o'clock will be full with different people driving a different way. There could be a jam, there could be chaos, somebody will overtake from the wrong side, somebody will honk unnecessarily. And in the middle of all this, is my mind going to get irritated by why the people are driving that way? We're just talking of the road, not of life also yet. <laughs> Will my mind get irritated by the way people are driving? Yes or no? Is my mind that time dependent on me or dependent on the other person's driving? Can I allow my mind to be dependent on a stranger's way of driving? So bring it back. So today, from here to home, we will drive with calm and stability not allowing our mind to create a single irritation thought irrespective of what the other people are doing. Protect everyone, protect yourself, reach home. Don't waste energy just for strangers on the road. And if you see somebody driving wrong way, instead of getting irritated with them, bless them that they reach home safely. So while you're driving also, in everything that we're doing, we have to take care here. This is not something that can be wasted like this for everything. Today there may be a shortage of food in the world, but the biggest shortage in the world is power. There's no power, we're wasting it for everything. 
Because we're saying it's natural, natural, obviously I'll get irritated, obviously I'll get angry, obviously I'll... So when I keep saying obviously, 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 what happens to this bank here? It goes like this. And then when a bigger situation comes in my life, I have no strength to face that situation. Because I wasted the power that I have. So like we need to use money carefully, more than that we need to use power carefully. So will we be able to drive home today untouched? Yes? How many feel can do it? It's so simple. It's only one thought. And otherwise I'll say, obviously, obviously, obviously. Sometimes so we don't even get disturbed. We roll down our window and we stare at them and we say words also. <laughs> it's not making any difference to the other person. I'm wasting my power. So just remember this like a battery here. Happiness means to keep this battery fully charged. Now today, whole Saturday, you're going to see which situation you're allowing this battery to go. So first thing is on the road. With strangers. Done. We decided we can do it. Second is at home the whole day. Can we do that? The whole day? Yes? Always to remember, this is a situation, this is the person, this is my mind. And every thought that I create here is my choice. They don't enter into my mind and create my thoughts. I can live my life saying they insulted me, they hurt me. They don't do anything. They just stand there and do what they have to do. They cannot get into my mind and create my thoughts for me. Can people get into our minds and create our thoughts? Not at all. But we are living our life like that. It's like giving away your remote control to people. Say, press whichever button, I will feel like that. And that is the reason why I'm not happy. That's the only reason why I'm not happy. Because I have become emotionally dependent. Like physical dependency is illness, it's not health. Emotional dependency is illness, it is not health. Health is equal to happiness. Health here. Health here. So today onwards, homework, practice. Situations will come. I might even react. But when I react, I'm not going to say because of them. I reacted because of? I reacted because of? My own thoughts. When you come back here, the power is with you. I created this reaction. So who created the anger? Bolo, bolo. I. Not usne gussa dila diya. Wo gussa nahi dila sakte hain. Wo sirf khade ho ke wo kar sakte hain. Jo unko karna hai. But hum kehte gussa dila diya. Some people just say, jaan pooch ke kiya mujhe tang karne ke liye. Wo jaan pooch ke aisa karte hai. Koi itna calculate karke jeevan jeera hota, to bhoot achche se jeera hota. Bina soche samjhe jeera hai. So people will do what they believe is right. It may not be right, but I have to create the right thought in response to their wrong behavior. That is power. Which means conserve your energy. And most important, this is the seva that is needed in the present time. Like you said, we're giving food to those who don't have. Now we need to give peace and happiness and love to those who are lacking. Ready to take it up as a project? Ready to take it up as a project? Yes. When I was entering, brother very sweetly said, wherever there is anything, we are the first to reach. Perfect. The first thing it is at your home. Don't have to go anywhere far away. Whenever there is anything, which means whenever anyone around you is not behaving your perfect way or are not behaving correct, be there to give them power, to give them happiness, to give them peace. But if I get disturbed, then I am taking away that little peace which they have also. So either I can give power to people or I can disempower people. How many of us worry for our family? Natural hai. We say natural hai. What is the quality of energy of worry? Positive or negative? 
So which means for the people whom I say are the most important people of my life, I'm sending negative energy. I'm sending negative energy. Is that the right way to be? Yes? So from today, we change. Worry is unhealthy. Worry means, kya hoga, kaise hoga, aise hoga, to kaise hoga, vaise hoga, to kaise hoga, kaise. Every thought is wrong. Shift from worry to care. Which means give them an energy which will increase their soul power. Don't give them an energy which reduces their soul power. So instead of saying, kya hoga, kaise hoga, what would be the line? It's only changing of one thought, like this and like this. So instead of saying, inka kya hoga, kaise hoga, thik hoga, ke nahi hoga, change. What we are changing is, we are changing from a thought which depletes to a thought which energizes and a thought which energizes is called a blessing. So suppose even as simple as your child is going for an exam today, aaj pata nahi kaisa hoga, change to sab achcha hoga aur achcha bhi kar sakte ho chahiye to sab badhiya hoga sab perfect hoga kar sakte hain sab kar sakte hain hum karte hain lekin hum muk se bolte hain hum se sab perfect hoga bahut achcha hoga the child will say no but i have not studied nahi nahi tu chinta nahi kar sab badhiya hoga and when he goes out of the door he will like pata nahi aaj kya hoga so the blessing is not that is given in words. Blessing is power and blessing means what I have created in my thoughts. But when the child has not studied, how can I create a thought sub perfect hoga? Can I create a thought sub perfect hoga? My child has not studied. Can I create a thought sub perfect hoga? Yes or no? Dekho, the day your child has studied very well and you are certain that he is going to do extremely well. Us din agar aap do teen negative thought create karo, to bhi chalega, us pe koi asar nahi hone wala hai. But the day the child is already... What is your role as family? You can't go and give his exam over there. But what you can do is, you can give him that energy which will help to Energize that battery and when you energize that battery, if he was going to get 70, he'll get 75. And most important, the journey of giving that exam would be more peaceful because his family has radiated power to him rather than stress and worry. This can be in an exam, this can be if somebody is going through a health issue. Now if someone in the family is going through a health issue, everybody keeps worrying for them. Up already they are going through a health issue. Already the mind is not in the happiest state. And now everybody at home is worrying for them. So what becomes the energy of the house? Negative. So this is opposite of seva. We are giving pain to people who are in pain. In the name of love. Ah, parivar hai, chinta to hogi hai. Nain, parivar hai to shakti deni hogi hai. So whenever there is a crisis, the need of the hour is how to empower every mind. The mind will create their solution. There can be a situation where there is no solution also. But at least what is in our hand, keep everybody's mind strong, then they will handle the situation to the best of their capacity. But what can we give to them? We need to give power. And for that, my mind will need to be emotionally independent. If I get disturbed on the road, there is no way I will not get disturbed at home when somebody doesn't behave the right way. So emotional independence. Who is the creator of my thoughts and feelings? I. Irrespective of whatever happened, even if I react from today, underline, even if I react, I am not going to say it's because of... If I say it's because of them, I don't change myself. I keep waiting for them to change. And they can take one day, they can take one year, and I will keep living in pain till they change. 
and that is what reduces soul power. So who is the creator of my anger? Quickly put finger now. Who is the creator of my anger? I. Who is the creator of my hurt? I. Who is the creator of my worry? I. Don't say, Tumne aisa kiya to chinta to hogi hai. Tumne aisa kiya wo tumhara karam chinta maine create ki. Mera karam. Now, when I start shifting this, and when I say, I created this anger, then I am able to finish it off faster. Next time it will, reaction will be lesser. In another few days, reaction will be minimal. Because I'll realize, who is creating it? I. Till then, uh, till now I was saying, I nahi. They, 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 they are the cause of everything that's happening. So the need of the hour is to shift from being like a victim in the world to becoming a master of your life. Master of your mind, master of your life. And when you become the master of your mind, a master of your life, then you're becoming a giver. Even if everything is going wrong in the house, everything, name it and everything is going wrong. Health is going wrong, wealth is going wrong, everything is going wrong, relationships are going wrong. Even if everything is going wrong, what is the thing that everybody needs that time? What is that thing which everybody needs that time? Everybody needs power. But to give power, like all the seva that you've done, you need money to do this seva. You can't do without money. Because everything has needs money. It doesn't just require love, care. It, it requires money because you're going to give something to somebody. But in the case of power, we don't need money. But in the case of giving power, we need to create power to be able to give it to everybody else. So are we ready to say, whenever anyone needs, I am ready to give power? Sure. And so we are here to give power to everybody, so that we are going to create a happy world. When the world is happy, hunger will automatically finish. It is when these desires are never ending, that is why all this imbalance in society is getting created. When contentment is there, all other issues will finish. But when desires are never ending, it's 